Welcome to the video on how to manage your inventory on Misho. The Misho supplier panel helps you manage your catalogs and inventory seamlessly. Sellers can now find smart suggestions about their inventory, add new size variants to their catalogs with a single click, check the status of their quality checked catalogs and find blocked catalogs all in one place. Log into your supplier panel and click on inventory on the left to manage your inventory. Your screen will be divided into two sections here. You can find catalogs on the left and the products listed under the selected catalog on the right. The inventory section is further split into four tabs. Let's get into it in a little more detail. 1. Active tab The active tab has three subsections within it. All stock, out of stock and low stock. All stock shows you all your products, whether in stock or not. Select catalogs for your desired category using the Select Category filter. You can even sort catalogs based on highest estimation orders or newest first by using the filters. We estimate your orders per day as well as the number of days your current inventory will last before your stock runs out based on past data here. Out of stock shows you all your products that currently have zero inventory, their estimated orders and monthly losses. You can check which products have been out of stock for varying periods of time using the filters. Filter products in this subsection to see which products have been out of stock for the last 7 days, 7 to 14 days or 14 to 30 days. Make sure to restock out of stock products as soon as possible so you don't lose out on sales. Low stock shows you all your products that are running low on inventory. Keep an eye on this tab to keep your inventory up to date and use it as an indicator to restock. Restocking products on Misho is very simple. All you have to do is click the edit button here and enter the updated value of inventory you currently have. You can now even edit inventory for catalogs at bulk. To update multiple catalogs stocked together, click the bulk stock update button and download your inventory sheet. The sheet has a list of all your catalogs and products along with their inventory count. Update the inventory for products you wish to and leave the rest blank. Save the file and upload it back onto the supplier panel by clicking here. You can also check how your catalogs are performing. Click View Details just beside the ratings and you will be taken to a new page showing various performance indicators both at the catalog level and at the product level. Find information like catalog ratings, the percentage of returns and much more here. Guess what? You can even edit product details on Misho. All you have to do is click the edit icon in the actions column above, more and Edit details like price, size, description and more. You can even add new variants to your products. Once you're on the Edit Product page, click on More and then click Add New Variation. Select the variation you wish to add. Add the inventory count that you currently have for variation. And if you'd like, you can add the SKU ID for the product as well. If you wish, Search for your catalogs or products using their catalog ID, SKU ID or style ID from here. Just select the type of ID you've entered. Enter the ID, hit search and the relevant catalogs will be shown below. Now that you know everything you need to know about the active tab, let's move on to activation pending tab. Find all your catalogs that have passed the quality check but are yet to go live here. You can see the expected to go live time for the catalogs here as well. Once it goes live, the catalog moves to the active tab. See all catalogs that recently went live on the active tab by filtering by newest first. Reach out to us from the support section if you think your catalogs are taking too long to move 
from the Activation Pending tab to the Active tab and we'll help you with the resolution. 3. Blocked tab. All your blocked catalogs show here. Your catalogs might get blocked for various reasons. Misho blocks duplicated catalogs or products. Ensure you don't upload the same product across different catalogs. You can always add variants to the existing catalog if needed. Your catalog might even be blocked if they have a low quality score. Poor quality products mean a poor experience for the customer, something we don't want on Misho. Make sure the quality score of your products is maintained above 3.5 stars to avoid blocking. A catalog might be blocked for other reasons as well. You can reach out to us from the support section with blocked catalog IDs for a resolution on your blocked catalogs. 4. Paused tab. If you no longer wish to sell a product or want to discontinue selling a product for some time, you can always pause it. All your paused products show in the paused tab. This helps reduce the clutter on your active tab, letting you focus on only the products you're currently selling. Pausing a catalog is simple. Visit the active tab and click the pause button for whichever product you intend on pausing. Remember, if you pause a catalog, it moves automatically to the pause tab and the inventory auto updates to zero. You can even select multiple catalogs at a time and pause them together by clicking here. Also keep in mind that a product that is out of stock for over 45 days automatically moves to the pause tab. That's everything you need to know for a smooth selling experience on Misho. Keep your inventories in check and updated and grow your orders today. Happy selling on Misho! If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel.